Hello, Lego lovers. This is Elle, and this is a Lego Disney parts review. This is Belle and Rapunzel's Royal Stables, set number 43195. It has only 239 pieces, and I believe it retails for $50, which is quite a bit, actually, for this set and that piece count. But let's see what we have in it for parts. So first of all, let's take a look at these stickers. So from a distance you can obviously see lots of horses, which makes sense. Um, basically we have two stables and you can see cute pictures of each princess and their horse. They're very mirrored, you can see. Almost the same stickers, which is kind of a little lame in my opinion. I think it would have been cool to have quite a bit more. I mean, literally, these are virtually exactly the same, just a little different colors. This one has different trophies, and the picture of the horses like that, that does make sense, and you have their names really cute. And then we have, I don't know if these are flags or bed sheets, but then again, they're stickers, you can use them for whatever you want. They're identical, and then we have some other stickers, looks like some treats, just some clothing, some riding clothing, it looks like, for both of them. Again, they look very much exactly the same. I'm a little disappointed in that. They're, they could have done a lot better there. The stickers are nice, though. I just feel like making them exactly the same is a little lame. Same, same thing down here. I mean, I've never really seen a sticker sheet that has that many identical type of stickers. Um, I mean, they're nice, but I don't really know if I like the fact that they're like all identical. When they're different areas and stuff but that's a sticker sheet kind of some nice stickers kind of some awkward choices i guess um but this is bag one and all the parts here are from bag one there's a lot of parallels in the colors which i find kind of interesting so here we have some light yellow and kind of the interesting highlight is this big brick which is like a one by four by three two of those at least in bag one and then as a counterpart, we have that lavender color, and we have the same thing. Back here, we have dark purple. We got some nice slopes. We got this slope and this slope, which I don't know if I've seen too much in that dark purple. And then for Belle's color, we have those parts basically in dark red. Very, a lot of parallels in here. The most that I've ever seen in like a set. We have some white back up here. Um, nothing too special. We do have some 1x3 white tiles. I always like getting those odd numbers. We do have these kind of modular jumper type tiles too. Two of those. Um, some brackets. Nothing too special back there. We do have some interesting tan parts here though. Lots of these kind of clips which I use for like the barn doors and stuff like that. Which makes sense. So you got two of those type of parts. And four of these brick clips there and then we have two of these kind of bar brick clip parts there and then we have these in kind of a nougat type color very very nice to see that it's more of a realistic color for them than like the bright pink or anything like that there's two of those we do have these curved parts in both white and this nougat for the horses to represent them having actual backs instead of gaps and I'll show you that later. We do have some nice tools here. We have brown pitchfork, obviously a great tool to have when using hay. And we have a brush or a broom, whatever you want to call it. Again, a nice tool. We have some green, or not green, my goodness, brown stems, some gems, not too special. We do have some kind of larger tan plates. And then in gold, we have quite a lot of jumpers. And again, nothing too special here. We do get these spikes in gold, which you can see uses that. The biggest kind of interesting thing in gold is we have this kind of horse accessory pack. So we get two of this type of brush in that gold you just clip there we got the kind of smaller round brush again obviously in that gold and i'll stop saying that we have the squirt bottle with heart and we have award medals for both first and second 
we have this kind of long bristle comb. I like the heart detail on there. We have either a sponge or a soap bar, whatever you can imagine. And then we have two different sets of four bows, one with an extra heart in the middle and then one without. So it's just a nice different color. I don't think we've gotten that color for those accessories. Might be kind of special, might not be, but still it's nice to get them in different colors always. So then we have our two horses. So for all intents and purposes, these horses are virtually identical. I think their eyes are slightly different, but that might just be the color. You can see we have a stripe of white on there and a little gray snout. And that's pretty much the difference between the horses. So we'll just look at one. So we obviously have this big chunk out there, which we have the stable parts for back there. And you can see lots of different accessory holes. We got one on the side there. We got one on the back tail here and one on the front. So there's a lot of different places you can put bows or any other accessory. You can see that the hair is all swept to the side. Unfortunately, it's the exact same for both of them. Like I said, they're basically molded the exact same. So then they sit on studs, as you can see here, anti-stud connections, and their neck does move down like so. Now it feels a little loose, but they can do that little move there. Otherwise, they're fairly detailed from the ancient horses that they used to have. I love the long flowing manes and stuff. I think that's a nice thing. Not necessarily a fan of it always being swept over to the side like that. Um, but nice, nice horse figures. I'm not necessarily a person that's really into horses, but I still think it's nice to have them. And I believe how they normally do this, just so you can see how they look like that, so they look like a more normal horse instead of having a big gap in their back, which would be probably really painful. The other highlight perhaps of this set is our mini dolls. So this is our Rapunzel, and I'm not 100% sure if this Rapunzel we have gotten in a different set, but I will say right now, I love this printing. It is beautiful, I love the shiny detail. Um, the corset detail, it just looks so so pristine so great and then barely noticeable you have edges of printing of flowers of a fine metallic on each side it just looks wonderful and then you even have white detailing up top there like she has an undershirt of course she's barefoot which i think is great you have that kind of mid skirt type mold there um the back doesn't have any printing unfortunately but her hair covers it and you can see that braid which is not the longest for rapunzel but still she kind of has that cute smirk would have loved maybe a little bit more of a sillier look for her she's got three accessory parts where you can put bows just really love that beautiful mixture of purple heavender printing on that torso especially just a really beautiful printing and one day we can see it on the back then we have Belle in her peasant outfit, I believe is what we'll refer to it. And this does, I believe, come in the new set for her, the castle. And I didn't notice this. You can't necessarily tell in the pictures. I love how that middle part is white. It really looks like she has kind of a bow tied around there. I think that works very well. Um... And let's actually take that beautiful hair piece off because it is detailed onto the back and that is really really nice too but the front has all the detailing from the standard outfit but more you can kind of see around the edges here that there's a metallic print very detailed you can see it on the torso too it just looks beautiful however i do have one complaint and that is the arm white printing, and maybe it doesn't show as bad on the camera here, but it, it feels kind of off. It makes the color look a little weird. Um, but overall, this is a fantastic bell in her little blue outfit. I just love it. It's beautiful. It looks great. I'm so happy they finally made it. Um, I just love it. It's, it's, a, it's a big highlight for the set, and it's cheaper than getting in the castle. So this is all in bag one, so let's get into bag two. Okay, here we are with bag two. It almost feels like this is a junior set with how many big parts there are, but let's get into it. 
So in white, we have the princess-like gate window type part. Um, as you can see, studs on the top, anti-studs on the bottom, but no other real connections inside, not even like the window connection. So this has just kind of got a sloped curve to it, just a nice kind of big part to quickly detail out your princess window or even door. You could put probably stuff in there. There's a way. You get two of those, and then the other like princess door is this one in white. I love the kind of inner detail flourish, which is probably, you know, indented in there so they can save a little money on plastic, but they made it a little bit better than just nothing. And you can see we got two holes there and a hole up there. So effectively you can get a, one of those new actual windshields in there. And I think that's kind of really cool. And then we have two large arch pieces in white here. You can see two of those. We have two large panel pleat pieces. Um, just another nice quick build type part for your walls and stuff like that. And then even more bigger parts. We have these bricks. It really makes me feel like this is a 4 plus set, but it is not labeled as such. And I'm looking at the box right now, so I don't know. In white, we have some 1x1 one one bricks, some 2x4 tiles down here, some clip parts, and some more bricks. Big parts are mainly the highlight. In gold, we have a plethora of those cylinder parts. We even have the little trophy that you can clip on each side, hold down there, or each side, anti-stud there. I think you can put a stud in there too, I'm not sure. We have more of these, not too special. Well, actually, I don't think there was any in this set, but gold kind of fencing and you can also kind of I saw on a couple of their cool sets where they build it like that and you kind of have a window look which I think looks really cool and some gold grill type parts and just some simple gold tiles which you could use for gold bars if you want and we have some dark purple cylinders meh we have some magenta jumpers some lavender um, jumpers in circle form we have some more of those bricks that, you know, clip and such. We have a big tan brick, some medium lavender, and then we have some of this nice royal blue, which is more of like a Cinderella color. But we have two nice big plates. Love getting that. And then lime two big plates. We even have some of those bricks back there. Big plate here. But my highlight is probably this part. But we get some bright pink. So there's a tile, two slopes, and this part. So this we may have seen before. I know a big example of it was in Livy's Pop Star stage, I think it was. But they had them in black where you put big stickers on them. I believe you put big stickers on them here too. But it is a big, basically pink flag part. And there's two of them in there. And you know me, I love my color pink. So very happy to see those. Um, so far, quite a bit of big parts, so nice to see that, but let's get into bag three, and then I'll give my overall opinion. Okay, here's the last bag, and this is quite a bit smaller than the other two bags, but let's get into it. So first up, we got a big magenta piece. This is a huge slope. Um, I think, I think it's a brick high, I think. I could be wrong. Does it line up? Yep. So it starts out at a brick high about. Yep. And then goes down to the end. Whoops. And you get two of them. Really nice. Love pink, obviously. So this is a very big part. Um, I think they use them for roofs, typically. I don't know if I've seen these before, personally, myself. Well, I've seen this part, but not necessarily in magenta. And there's two of them here. Also in magenta, we have the kind of crenellation, or not crenellation, but crown type part, or roof type part of the castle type builds. Only one here. And in magenta, we have some corner pieces and some slopes. As you know, I like pink, and I think those are kind of newer parts for that. Also in pink, we have some bricks back there, but those are not too special, just nice to get. And in this lavender, we have some of these kind of longer slopes with different connections on them, which I just think is really versatile. And then some of these shorter type lavender slopes. 
In white, we have some of these double bricks for those. Not too special, but just a nice kind of medium sized part. We also have these white slopes. A couple longer white plates, but not very much. We have this nice blue and two by fours. Quite a few of those. Tan. We get one lonely bracket part. And then some plates. And oh hey, there's some gray. And some jewels. Those are beautiful, but kind of common. But in gold, we have some common parts. Crown. We also have some gold flags, which are kind of a little weird. We'll just imagine they're shiny material. Um, and then some clips and these really nice one by ones with holes in them. But this is new, at least in this color, is this curved part. And obviously they line up really nice. And this is in that gold. Now, I wish we got four of them. I understand why we don't, but we only get three. And it's just a nice big part, and the reason why we only get three is because it looks like a horseshoe. <laughs> so that's a really cool kind of medium-large part. And then to go with that, we have this windscreen, which I'm not sure. I'm going to think this is supposed to be the front, but I'm not 100% sure. I think, yeah, I think this is the front because it looks the most crisp. And that's actually just really interesting because that's the inside of it. And that is just a wonderful print. I love these bell prints where they kind of have the stained glass look and it just looks really nice. And this is even more interesting on a transparent color. Um, yeah, I just, I love these parts. So this is a really nice print on a windscreen, which is a little awkward, but still really nice. I just love that. Uh, um, so what are my overall thoughts on this set? Well, initially I felt this set did not have a lot of parts for the cost but we have to realize that horses do cost a bit and they are only technically one part and if you were to build a horse it would be quite a few parts so I think that makes a big chunk up like you know like having mini dolls in a set um, this is not a 4 plus set even though it feels very close to being a 4 plus set um, I guess it is a 5 plus set, which probably is accurate based on a lot of the size of the pieces, you know. So, there are some nice larger pieces in here, but at $50, it just feels a bit expensive. I don't know if I can say this is a good idea to buy for pieces, but if you're into the new Belle outfit and some of the parts and stuff, it is neat. There are neat parts in here, I can't argue with that. Maybe when it goes on sale, it'll be better for you. But I would say it's a little expensive at $50. Um, like I said, there are some big set, big parts, but it feels really expensive, to be honest. Um, but there are some nice pink parts, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it feels expensive. I, I'm going to end with that. Um, there's neat stuff in it, but like I said, it feels expensive. And I can say that like 7,000 times, I guess, because I like repeating myself a lot at the end of videos. But we're going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some insight into this stable set and maybe it'll decide if you want to buy it for a certain part or parts or whatnot or maybe you'll wait to my review or you'll check out my review. I don't know. Thanks for watching though. I really appreciate it and hopefully you check out some more of my other videos.